when it comes to being a Mr. Delisi Rider, no one does it better than me when it comes to defending Jimmy, aka Mr. Beast. In all seriousness, I know that this is the billion time someone has made a video about Mr. Beast being canceled for being uh, a nice person. How Now, a lot of you guys know where I stand with the Beast. Um, I like his content. I think the video that he dropped yesterday is a banger. It's, in my opinion, one of, if not the best video he's made on his channel. It's because he helped, and he's helping thousands of people. I think he's one of the only content creators who actually does good in the world. When he could have easily been sitting around in his multi-million dollar mansion, scamming people for NFTs and all that stuff, right? That's so easy to do. But the fact that he goes out of his way to help people, especially people who need it the most, like people in Africa building wells for them, I think that's something that no one could take away from him. And what would assume that hey you know he did a good thing he's putting water where there's no water and the dirt and the water that there is it's dirty it's contaminated and it could kill people he's helping thousands of people he's making their lives so much easier because they don't have to walk a shit ton to get to the water you would assume universally people will be like hey that's pretty sweet you know shout out to the beast out there if you think that's possible yeah i'm sorry to let you down but people found a way to bitch and moan and complain and shit themselves and piss themselves and came all over the place at the same time. I already know I'm going to get canceled because I uploaded a video helping people and to be 100% clear, I don't care. I'm always going to use my channel to help people and try to inspire my audience to do the same. And he ain't lying. I've been thinking about making a short or a few shorts where I give sandwiches or like food or like burgers to people. I don't know how those will perform and you know, I don't really care as long as it's helping people. So in a way, Mr. Beast, low key, you know, even to this day still inspires me because I'm like, hey, you know, I'm very fortunate enough to be where I'm at. You know, I'm, I'm not a multimillionaire by any means. If I could help some people who needed the most at homeless or people who are just hungry. And he was not wrong. As soon as that video went live, people on Twitter were losing their minds. Well, yo, I respect a lot of this shit Mr. Beast does. It really sucks that someone like him has to exist. What the fuck are you on about, dude? He follows it up with people should just have access to clean water without the help from some rich dude making content for his YouTube channel. Buddy, you're a fucking moron. On, okay, you're actually fucking brain dead. You're stupid. You're smelly. By this logic, I wish cancer didn't exist and I wish no one died. Oh, someone came up with cancer? Oh, it sucks that some white rich person had to come up with that. Shake my head. I mean, why couldn't we just be born cancer free? Dude, what the fuck are you on about? He's helping thousands of people. A hundred wells were built, okay? If you see the video, you know how many kids and adults and anyone in between is going to you know, enjoy that and be helped by that. What's there to hate? And I love this excuse from everyone. You know, it would be nice if Mr. Beast did all the kind stuff, but didn't record it and uploaded it. Where do you think the money's coming from to fund that? I think a lot of people fail to see this. He wins. He gets a video out, he makes money that he puts right into his next project, and the people who need it the most, in this example, the people in Africa, also win, they get water, they get clean, healthy water, and they don't have to be worried about getting diarrhea, sick, or dying. And that inspires other people like you and me. Who loses here? I don't know who this guy is, but this guy definitely lives in a little bubble. People should just have access to water. You know what, people should just have access to money and houses, you know, and no one should get sick. The Mr. Beast hate is just... <laughs> <laughs> so fucking corny, Jesus. And a lot of people were saying, to the people saying he didn't have to film this, how do you think he funded this? Watch people find another way to hate this. So of course, he needs those videos to do well so he can perform and build another 100 wells in another place that needs it the most. And then this tweet got 8 million views. This went crazy viral. I think Mr. Beast would be an incredible channel if he talked a bit more about why he has to do this while he's doing this. Are you retarded? That's an honest question right now. What do you mean? It would be incredible if he explained. Did you watch the video? He legitimately explains what's going on. What the fuck? <laughs> you cannot be serious. Oh my god. How are these people real? That's what I want to know. This is the first of a hundred wells we're going to build in this video. Oh, what a... You just witnessed a small village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water in less than a second. The teacher showed me where the students currently get their water, which is from this river. That's extremely unsafe to drink. This is where your students used to get water from? Yes. This is crazy. Yeah. You know, students complaining of diarrhea, infections like typhoid, because this is the water we've been using. So yeah. we try to treat, but you see, look at it, it, you know, but at the end of the day, life has to move on. These people, 
have licenses to drive. These people could vote and they can stick around for a 15 second video intro and the fact that you need to be babied into this. Um, so we're doing this because a lot of parts in Africa don't have clean water. Are you a two year old with a Twitter account? Like, how do you not get it? I think Mr. Beast would be an incredible channel if you talked about it a bit more. You do something about it. What are you doing? Are you building wells? Are you helping your community? How many people have you helped? It's always the people who sit back on their phone and be like, yeah, you should do more. And they do absolutely fucking nothing. And you don't have to go to fucking Africa and build a well. Just do something. Get off Twitter. And hashtag free this. Hashtag free that. That's worthless. That's useless. Do something in the real world. And this person says, what talk about it if he's helping people and the ones being helped are happy about it? And he responds with this, because while he's helping very many people, if he explained what these people don't have water and pointed out systematic issues, he could inspire millions to work to address those systematic issues. His goal should be a world where someone like him isn't needed. You live in a fantasy land because that will never happen. So do you guys prefer if he did nothing? Would that be the better outcome? Those 100 wells just get destroyed and shut down? And those people go back to drinking dirty, stinky water? Is that what your point is? And especially this part, a world where someone like him isn't needed. You're so fucking stupid. You actually think something like this would work? Jesus fucking, I don't know what's wrong with people. Like, this person's everything wrong with Twitter. And this fucking mentality is so fucking stupid. And people were calling him out. This person says, he did address a problem. Why don't you actually watch the video? Twitter nippers need the concept of needing clean water explained to them. <laughs> yeah, like what's here to explain? Like, are you are you like a two-year-old who doesn't know anything about anything? Oh, what does Africa need water? Um, I don't know, to survive? Like, do you need an in-depth report about that? Do you want Mr. Beast to type an essay so he can justify the reason why he's making that video? Uh, you cannot be real, Jesus. And even I had to jump in and I said, people who hate on Mr. Beast are losers. The man legit built wells in Africa and is helping thousands of people and losers on Twitter are bitching about it. And this was only just a few examples. I mean, if I showed all of them, this video would be like five hours long which, you know, I don't think anyone wants that. You know, this is something that's said all the time, and it's kind of cliche at this point, but it is true, if Mr. Beast straight up found a cure for cancer, people will be like, why did someone like Mr. Beast need to come up with this shit? Why did he need to rescue us? In a perfect world, no human has cancer. In a perfect world, no human has AIDS. That's so not even in the conversation. Like, you stupid dance imbecile. Yeah, okay, it's time for me to take the Mr. Beast Lissy out of my mouth. This is so stupid. I cannot believe this guy's helping thousands of people and making life so much easier. And yet, people find a way to bitch and moan and complain. It will never end. Why? Because some people are just miserable and they just want to be miserable for no reason. What do you guys think of this situation? Do you think this was a Mr. Beast W or is he a horrible person and he should go back to Africa and destroy all of the wells? <laughs> Whatever you guys think, let me know in the comments below. If you're new, like, share, subscribe, share. I love you and I'll see you next time. All right, peace.